Who's that girl? What's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Pepper Ann. Is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she everybody's fool? Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann. Marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann. She's like God in a million. Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann. Much too cool for seventh grade. Catch her if you can. Pepper Ann. Who? Is that that girl from gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she, and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. Ooh, a buck. Catch her if you can, Pepper Ann. students. It's time again for another fabulous production from Miss Dog's Drama Club. Oh, not another stupid play. We proudly present William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Um, hi. That movie was so last year. Auditions are this Friday after school. Be there or don't. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. Drama sucks. I love drama! The smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd! Excuse me, Miss Stark, your bracelet is ripping my hair out. I think either of you would make an enchanting Juliet. Thanks anyway, Miss Stark, but I am way too busy. What with blading and sleeping and... And if the role of Romeo wasn't already cast, well, you would have made a strapping... Ah... Uh, a unique kind of, uh... But I thought the auditions weren't until the end of the week. Yeah. Who's Romeo? Hey, Stark. Nice lead. That is an eighth grader. I love drama. Uh, Peppy, I thought you said drama sucked. That was before I found out Craig Bean is going to be Romeo. You want to be in the play because of some guy? Uh, Craig Bean is not just some guy. If I get the role of Juliet, oh, just think where it could lead. <laughs> Sherry Spleen here with a backstage look at Hazelnut's real-life Romeo and Juliet, Pepper Ann Pearson, and Craig Bean, an ice grater. So, Craig, give us the dish. She's fresh. Wicked fresh. Oh, you. Uh, Peppy, you're scaring me again. Romeo, <laughs> sweet, I should kill thee with much cherishing. Craig, I could never hurt you. The lark and loathed toad change eyes? Um, is this like in English? Oh, fortune, fortune, oh! Men call thee fickle. If thou art fickle, what dost thou with him? <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, what satisfaction canst thou have tonight? I must hear from thee every day in the hour, for in a minute, there are many days. Oh, I could get used to this acting thing. Applause, spotlight, crank. <laughs> Stage. Decisions, Monday noon. Hey, PA, guess who just made the R&J crew? So what do you get to do? I have no idea, but the crew gets bottomless juice box. The roles for Romeo and Juliet are cast. The part of Juliet goes to Sissy Rooney. <laughs> I promise to forget the little people on my way up. And for the supporting roles, the part of the nurse goes to 
Pepper and Pearson. The nurse? Why, the nurse is the foundation of the whole play. She is the glue that holds the story together. But the nurse only has one scene with Cr with Romeo. Pepper and the role of the nurse is hugely important. But I did like that scene with Lady Capula. Wonderful! I almost forgot to give you this. Your new role calls for a more full-bodied, zoftig physique. What's happening? Ah! Run for your life! She is coming! Yes, it is! Pepzilla! Ah! Ah! My great! I'm weak and fresh! Remember? Sorry, Miss Stark, but there's no way I'm gonna make a fool of myself in front of the whole world and Craig just for some stupid play. Well done, Pepper Ann. If you can't play Juliet opposite Craig's Romeo, there's just no point in doing it. I know. Although the nurse is kind of an important character. Oh, please, Pepper Ann. Shakespeare couldn't create a meaningful character if his overrated life depended on it. Actually, if you think about it, Romeo and Juliet is quite a stupid play. Stupid play? <laughs> Romeo and Juliet is one of the greatest stories ever, with the most memorable characters in history. In fact, the nurse's role is one of the most crucial. She is the window into Juliet's soul. Gee, Pepper Ann, if you feel that strongly about it, maybe you should be the nurse. Well, maybe I will. Mistress! What? Mistress? Yond. Yond. Um, line, Pepper Ann? Yond is not daylight! It was the lark, the herald of the morn. Uh, P.A., what am I supposed to do with this shrub? Holding it is inhibiting my juice intake. It's part of the orchard. Its purpose is to provide cover for Romeo during the balcony scene. Um, line, Pepper Ann? You kissed by the book, Romeo! Three words, dear Romeo, and gluck, good night, indeed. I just want to say it's been a joy working with you all, and I know tonight will be a huge triumph. Nobody move. I lost a contact. It is so no use. I won't be able to read the TV word thingy. Sweet mother of all that is good, the play is ruined! Oh. It's dark. Pearson knows the lines. She can play Juliet. No, I can't. I'm the nurse. I'm the foundation of the whole play. Do it, P.A. For the love of Shakespeare. You're right. The show must go on. But who will be our nurse? I know the Heimlich. I can't believe it! I'm gonna play Juliet! I'm gonna be the best Juliet they've ever ever! No! I can't! I'm not Nine. Bush! Um, but soft. What blocks the light through yonder window? Romeo? Romeo? Wherefore art thou Ro ah! <laughs> Go now! Uh, juice box? Oh, why did we do this stupid play? It is not thy juice box, but thy name that is my enemy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Will thou read us the teleprompter? Madam! Nurse? Oh, now be gone! More light and light it grows! I said be gone! For this is the burden I must bear alone. Oh, happy dagger! This is thy sheath. There, uh, 
last and let me die. Oh. There's our star! Oh! That was cool, oh. Peppy. <laughs> Ow? Like, watch where thou art going? Drama rules. You were magnificent! Genius! So good the school wants to do a second production this year! I may consider doing it, providing the part properly showcases my wicked fresh acting abilities. I want to find love out in the sea. But who could love a little fish girl like me? Yay! Like, could that be any colder? Stupid plane. Next week marks a bold step in our study of capitalism. Starting Monday, each of you will get a chance to experience American economy firsthand with after-school jobs for a whole week! Uh. Okay, the assignments are... Sissy and Trinket, color me dressed. Tessa and Vanessa, music madness. <sighs> Nikki and Dieter. The novel Nook. Can you eat this Nook? Pepper Ann and Milo. Brew Farm. Let me take you away from this place. Did I say Brew Farm? <laughs> I meant Food Barn. Welcome to Food Bar. Unattended children will be tagged and sold in bulk. Ah, we're ruined. Yeah. Uh, uh, Miss Sneed, it's it's just a well, a food barn. <laughs> I mean, we we were thinking more like a video store, or comics, or a tattoo parlor. Or... Stop. Look, the truth of the matter is, well, neither of you are quite strong in economics. It can be a cold world out there, Pepper Ann. Take a scarf. Not strong in economics? I'll show her! By the end of this week, I'll be a financial genius. They'll be begging me to do whatever economic type people do. Is it fish stick day? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. It says here that you're weak in economics. I don't like to think of it as a, a weakness, sir, but as a, an opportunity for growth. Uh-huh. Imagine, you're working here at Food Barn when suddenly your supervisor is struck by a rogue satellite. Think fast. What's your plan of action? Well, I call a meeting of my peers, and we do our best to run the store in an efficient and organized manner. Hmm. Milo? Flip the sign to closed. Bingo, smart boy. No chance for scrubs that way. <laughs> I like you, Milo. You are sharp. One week to prove Miss Sneed wrong. One week, one A in economics. One week can be a long time. Did you ever know that you're my hero? If you've read the manual, you shouldn't have any problems. Questions? Actually, I, w I was wondering... Good. I was... Tuesdays and Thursdays, wash my car. Cloth only, light wax. I won't let you down! Great mother of Hasselhoff, look at all this strudel! It's expired! I saw what you did! You got fired on your first day? Uh, no. But the hat! They're only 
only for Tier 1 employees. Bob promoted me to Assistant Supervisor of Stock. Because I, I think quick on my feet. Hey! Where's your promotion? It's coming. I know it is. Well, go after it! Tell Bob you're the one who noticed the bad mail. Uh-uh. Bob's gonna notice my hard work on his own. Hey, quit talking to the pickles and get back to work. Pearson, floors. Lock up when you're done. Major responsibility. Pepper Ann, you should have been at the novel nook last night. Loco Yono was reading from her new children's book. It wasn't my fault, cried the little Asian bunny. John made up his own mind. Why don't I talk to Miss Sneed about switching you and Dieter? He's never at work anyway. No! I can do this, Nikki. You watch. I'll show everyone that I'm the best employee Food Barn has ever had. <sighs> Excuse me, miss, but I don't believe the price on this item. By selling in bulk, we avoid the high cost of individual cartons, and we're able to pass those savings directly onto you, the consumer. I don't believe the price on this item is marked. How much? Uh, price checks on aisle 218. You can take the subway. I call it mustard in motion. Oh, cool. Too bad there's no skateboarding. Great work with the skateboard incident. Stop the madness, keep the customer. <laughs> uh, you, pickle girl, clean up this mess. So, Milo, you come to the company picnic? You can still quit, you know. Never! I have to admit, Pearson, your machine-like detachment impresses even me. Hey. Customer service, aisle 48. Pearson. Nice discount. No applications under 18! Scram, Junior! Come back when you grow chest hair. I didn't think it was possible. She actually died of embarrassment. Pearson, I found a spot on my car. They're moving me to the corporate offices. They have free slushies. Must last till five. Excuse me, miss, but I demand to know why this application was rejected. Hey, is it true that you let this boy consume free chocolate spread? Pearson, did you get to my car yet? Enough! What's wrong with you people? You're never gonna eat that many olives. No one needs a 35-pound bag of cheese ups No one! I gave this place one week of my life. And what did I get in return? A pat on the back? A free slushie? No, I got nothing, but I stuck it out. Things got tougher, I worked harder. Not one person here can tell me that I didn't do the best job possible. No one's gonna tell me that I'm not strong in econ. Yeah, tell me. You 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 fire. The economic law of supply and demand proves that people will always search for the lowest price, but at what cost? And so the wheels of big business turn on. But this cog refuses to go willingly into the cold machine. Hey, where's your speech? Right here. <clears throat> Economics. It's not what you know. It's who you know. Thank you. 
I'll never get this econ thing. C negative. My grade matches my blood type. I'm so proud of you. Not only did you learn a valuable lesson on corporate America, but you've mastered economics along the way. But I got fired. Shh. Many a noble economist has lost her job, but kept her pride. Four, two, seven, pearl, one, carry the four. Knitting again, Sneed? You're fired! Pepper Ann, you were holding out on me. Had I known sooner that we were, oh, kindred spirits, I... Oh, but never you mind. I'll show you everything I know. Together we will show the world that economics is a glorious quest, focusing on an exciting aspect known as... Pepper Ann? The gross national product. <laughs> Thank you.